we're at the Hoinimi Beach, and today we're cleaning up trash at this beach. All of us, today. All of it. In this moment, we're gonna clean. Thank you. We have two cities working together here. We have the city of Port Hoinimi and the city of Oxnard. Um, they have uh, pulled together their resources to be able to bring out tractors and dumpsters to, to get all of this trash up. And we also have Paddle Out Plastics, which is here to help us out. Um, and a lot of volunteers from the city of Port Hoinimi and also from the city of Oxnard. And we have Councilman Gamma here. And I'm We're here at Ormond Beach where it meets and intersects with Hoinimi Beach. And this is our focus area, as you can see mainly styrofoam and plastic and we have an army of volunteers showing up right now we're so excited to get busy and fill these dumpsters up with trash we even got people in the water on the water side picking up trash we care about the environment and we're here we're making a difference we're part of the solution let's get to work last year around the same time and this was pretty much spotless and i'm just aghast at, at how much trash is accumulated here. The reason why it's here is because the city needs to concentrate on putting in some more capture devices so the trash doesn't come downstream through the storm drains. Uh, but we also, as you can see over to my left, uh, we have um, a colony of homeless people living, you know, with within uh, half a mile of us. So cleanups like this are really important because this is not new trash. This is old. And once it's cleaned up, it's done. It's very slim chance. It's, it, there's going to be a need for any repetitive cleanups of any size, which is really great. Now, if this trash goes all the way down the shoreline and even across over to the other side. So there definitely is enough here to pick up for several weekends. Eventually most things will break down in the environment. For instance, like a, a plastic water bottle will eventually break down in 450 years into something, making it biodegradable. What you want to look for is compostable stuff because that means that it will not, it'll break down into something that can be used in nature. It's not breaking down into like chemical, bad chemical stuff, stuff that's going to leach into the environment and poison the water, for instance. Today, I've primarily been seeing lots and lots of styrofoam. Uh, and styrofoam is a big problem because it is something that cannot be recycled. And when you pick it up and after it degrades for a while, it breaks down really easily. I'd say primarily styrofoam, lots of plastic bottle caps, plastic bottles, spoons, needles. Unfortunately, that's pretty common for this area. But 90% of the trash that we pick up here is styrofoam from, from cups, from to-go boxes, coolers, you name it. And the problem with styrofoam is that when you go to grab it, it breaks up, it disintegrates into like 10 more fragments. And they get so tiny that they just go into the earth. We can have a breaching of the dunes and then this would just go out to the ocean, which is, you know, it's tragic enough that it's in a wetlands area, but then it gets pulled out and can hurt marine life too. I mean, lo looking at the progress now, it's we're about an hour and 15 minutes into our cleanup and it's already looking a heck of a lot better than it did when we first came out. So. I'm sure there will be stuff to pick up tomorrow. It's important for me and for future generations of people so that they can enjoy the same beach and the same environments that I do. Uh, our whole world is interconnected. In order to have a good economy, we have to have a good environment. In order to have a good environment, we have to have a good economy. It's all um, a circular investment right now to make sure that we keep our planet, our oceans, our waves, our beaches clean so that we can enjoy it and so that we can live healthy lives ourselves. Ormon Lagoon is so special. Number one, obviously, because it's a um, protected sanctuary for over 200 species of birds and two of them are endangered, as is the Tidewater Goby. 
And so not only is this a beautiful environment, it's also needs to be protected. And South Oxnard has a history of uh, industrializing this area. And um, it's been going on for decades. So right now, environmentalists and concerned residents are really trying to step up and make awareness to the neglect that Ormond Beach and Lagoon has gone through over the years and really revive it uh, as the prestigious, beautiful sanctuary wetlands that it is.